Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, I think we're doing uh, nicely here. And I do actually think we have, we took out Asuka in one turn and then uh, Victoria fall Elizabeth <laughs> followed turn after. So that's some pretty solid uh, moves actually. All enabled because we managed to capture uh, Isabel in the beginning. And then just go into massive production mode with uh, being in organized religion and of course having a pretty nice shrine to carry us for a long while. So yeah, this is uh, going very nice. Now I think we're just going to have a little breather and try to get up uh, rifling. Also, uh, Elizabeth, she is uh, of the English. Uh, she's uh, the leader of the English, and the re English, if you remember from the Victoria game, they have uh, the red coats. That's pretty much the best uh, rifleman unit, and they get a lot of bonuses versus other rifles. So she's going to be a, she she's a really strong. Uh, she gets her like a big power spike when she reaches rifling, and that's nice. So yeah, let's just continue for a bit and see if we can't uh, do something good here. I think we're just going to keep uh, doing this. Finish this mine. Send down a worker for a road here. Yeah, let's let's just get a road there. Our workers are kind of uh, yeah. Our workers are kind of just uh, waiting. And yeah, I'm going to heal for a couple turns and then push out for another thing. Um, what do we want here? Let's just go for like a general uh, strength. Let's get one guy like this. So, again, our super medic is making this possible to heal in two turns. So that's that's a VIP of our unit, like our stack. We have such a large uh, amount of units, so we can like uh, produce a ton and heal a ton. So that's you, you want to ha have like a big enough stack so you can uh, let's see can we get some vision on here not really and look at this there is a chance for us to actually go on and take the city in one turn can we get vision here we can oh yeah It's on um, a grassland. He has the chicken itza. And these longbows, they are uh, fairly annoying. But I do think we actually can take that city. How many healed guys? Well, let's just uh, wait a bit. Let's get uh, some cottages, or one of them. Yeah, but this might uh, trigger an earlier uh, start of the war. He's uh, nowhere near rifling, I hope. Maybe he's doing something like steam power or steel or... Yeah, let's hope for that. And yes, we can probably start doing this a bit. I don't think we need uh, more into rifling. Let's hope she won't trade for uh, the thing in two turns. So yeah, growing this city up while we are getting uh, ready to whip uh, cavalry. And yeah, we gave away our Jewish uh, town, so we 
are unable to be a part of the a potential vote. So that's something. You know what? Let's just put these guys in range for the possi for the possibility that we will change our mind. Take out one of his biggest cities really early. <laughs> it's it's, it's a, would be a nice start for a war. And taking out the city before uh, rifling is also a nice thing. Okay. Can we get some happiness here? We have whipped our cities kind of hard. And yeah, we didn't build uh, the heroic uh, or that uh, thing. Maybe we should just get a temple here. A theater, I mean. Yeah, theaters are pretty nice. And yeah, growing our cities up again so we can uh, quickly get a lot of uh, like a wave of uh, cavalry onto the battlefield. And I really like Elizabeth settling these kind of islands. So uh, we will get some, uh, she will get some pretty nice research out of it. Okay, next turn. Oh yeah, perfect. I was kind of wondering if she managed to keep uh, keep this. And Suriman got the Statue of Liberty. That's nice. He only gets he actually only gets one, two, three, four, five free free great people from it. And. Oh yeah, didn't notice what you got. Let's send this guy to chemistry. Oh yeah, look at the research rate on our uh, on our uh, vessels. <laughs> but yeah, let's get these guys down here. I think we are going to go for attack next turn. Don't see a good way ab around them. Um, if they go over here, they'll be stuck. So uh, let's just stay here. We can take out uh, the mazes or something. And okay. Let's get on to the road and prepare for next turn. So next turn we'll get rifling I hope. That will be a big boost. The heroic epic, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get it. Helps the morale. Grab the theater. Prepare for um, some nice whipping here. And go for next turn. Next turn, picking up rifling. And uh, let's hope he won't pick up rifling this turn. No rifling. Let's see, did anyone. Yeah, they're starting to get rifling. Suriman picked up rifling. really like getting her into slavery that will mean that she will produce more army so I think this is actually worth it it also reduces the pressure of uh, emancipation so we get a little bit more leeway on the happiness for because we won't we, we don't want to switch out of uh, stuff and yeah we did actually pick up uh, curacer or um, yeah, damn it! I lost uh, the production on that in that city. I think 
Yeah, we didn't actually pick up. Uh, let's see if the Curiosers will do any, like the other Koshaks will do any good. But yeah, this is um, this is attack time. He has a bunch of long balls in our pretty good chicken it's a city. But I think we are getting pretty good value out of our units if we attack. And we don't want uh, Elizabeth trading uh, attack with him. So let's go. Sarah, you're next. 40%. That's okay, I guess. Probably going to suffer some losses, and we are. Come on. Come on. Ah, yeah, that wasn't a good start. But here we go. The tipping point. Okay. Yeah, some nice stuff here. Probably going to be a little bit harder to uh, take him out. And what are you doing over here? Yeah. Stuff. Let's go for a tree experience if possible. Let's get this worker and let's put ourselves in position to take a new city next turn. Probably have to defend this city a little bit. <laughs> or do we leave it up for like a temptation? Get these guys in here. Yeah, I think we I think we will. Well, let's just do this and this. I'm expecting uh, Sara to drag in the Suruman. Going to be quite annoying actually, because he will um, probably pillage all for seafood. And next turn, all of these curiosities will turn into Koshaks. Maybe, yeah, damn it, that we move the production around here. Let's grab this. Three turns, three turns. Okay. And Elizabeth, what do you want to research? You want to research something like electricity, maybe? So, yeah, some pretty solid uh, stuff here now. Might be able to take out this guy next. He has the Oromi warriors now. Still probably do a lot of upgrading, but um, yeah, he has to upgrade the Oromo warriors or the longbows into rifles, and that will be costly. Yeah, let's uh, make sure that Asuka knows that he has a job to do. Let's send him to Ak Aksum. Elizabeth, let's send her to Deborah Beram or something. Yeah, Sarah is a pretty powerful AI actually. 
And I'm glad we are taking him out before factories because he will just produce those uh, that that type of norm like factories and as I'm glad since it's organized, he will produce that stuff fairly fast and have a pretty devastating power spark. He usually gets a lot of cities as well. So yeah, let's just see what happens next turn. And yeah, he picked up riflemen. But he only has one. One rifle. That's a scary rifle though. Let's just gift this guy. Well, he picked up riflemen. But uh, it's the riflemen that are scary. Um, he has some first strikes, but we are immune to first strikes, so that doesn't really matter. Let's see if this helps. Yeah, not really. But here we see all of our units turn into Koshaks. We we lost the production here, unfortunately. But yeah. We'll manage. Here we are going to get a nice whip. Do wonder if we should start. Um, if we are going to pu keep pushing, we'll have. Um, Like this unit will be healed next turn. And we have 20 units versus this. Let's just see if we can take damage that uh, guy. No, we didn't do anything. Okay. It's only one rifle. And now the rifle is gone. So we have really good odds. And he got rifling, so he rifling obsoletes uh, the chicken itza. Let's see, here it is obsolete chicken itza. So when he only had one rifle here, that's actually helping us. So let's just uh, try another big stack and <laughs> yeah the timing in this game has been uh, really nice for us. So we picked up another big city. Let's see. Get this guy over here for maximum healing for one turn. Maybe we should just heal here before we move out. Don't need uh, that. Oh, yeah, our capital is almost at uh, max size. That's good. Do a whip next turn or this turn? Let's do it this turn. It's um, like we're whipping away fairly poor tiles, so that's okay. Let's get a, let's get a fresh guy on that, so it won't be too tempting for him to try to take it out. And do we use our gold and upgrade a couple of these guys? I think we do, just to get a little bit better power in our front. There are only 80 gold to upgrade from a and yeah, here we can whip away 
some stuff, so I guess we'll do that. Yeah, let's just get out a couple of these guys. They will help the front line. They will reach the front or front front line real quick as well, so yeah. And yeah, whipping away the city it's it's too big for uh, anything really good. This City doesn't have a forge. Let's just pick up a forge actually. A whipping a Koshax at 120 hammers without a forge. Yeah. It's not the favorite my favorite thing. This over, that's pretty good. So yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ten Koshaks. Ten Koshaks to the front line next turn. <laughs> Eleven port. So yeah, our production is uh, pretty much uh, secured. And can we do something like this? Yes, we can. Picking up Constitution. That's an okay thing. We can do uh, some, uh, do this for one turn. Oh, it's actually two turns. Rep will uh, make uh, all of our settled generals useful, and we'll get some more happiness. Like we only have one uh, city garrison unit here, so we get this city and a couple of other five of our cities. We we'll get three extra happiness. And that might reduce the need for a culture slider, but I d I'm not sure if that's necessary right now. But okay, let's uh, let's see now. Suka, yeah, send him to Gondar. What did we trade? We 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 gave him rifling. That's right. Gave him rifling, so he uh, will have the ability to uh, do some. Uh, Damage towards, uh, yeah, make some cavalry units. So that's nice. Let's see. Next turn. Oh, Saladin attacked us. Sure. Saladin went to war. We have one of those. We have a fur as well. Yeah, let's just get a grab. So yeah, well Saladin, realistically what can he do against us, don't think too much, do we keep pushing now, we're going to start meeting a lot of rifles. And I don't think we're going to get use of the mounted bonus, but 3 extra attack strength. Pretty strong. And we don't really have something to use our gold for anyways. And yeah, this guy... He's getting up there. That's nice. I think we just... Make him into a potential rifle killer, and we can upgrade him for free. That's just uh, now. We now we definitely have to prepare for rifles. So uh, let's get in here. 
Let's give the worker to Victoria. Maybe she will make some more roads and stuff. Give upgrade. Yeah, but we'll upgrade our most experienced units. Heal. Yeah, I don't think he will be. And okay, we got this guy. That's re that's actually really nice. Let's just send him and get some more trade trading going. Let's just give away our workers. That guy will take forever to heal. Ah, yeah, maybe should have saved our gold reserves. Get to the front line. Is there anything that can be healed this turn if we move a medic? No. Okay. I think you want to stay and heal for a bit. Maybe he will move his stack in a position where we can take it out. And let's just produce wealth in a couple of our cities. Like what, what's a good wealth city? Maybe this one. Yeah. Do you want to help us in this war? No. So we have taken out two of Sarah's cities. He's uh, not. Uh, is this where his stack is? Let's put our points on Surman. He's the last. Uh, he's the last guy we're going to take out. I'm thinking. I'm a little bit worried about Saladin's stack. He he was plotting in a war like. Uh, Rages, and then he, uh, yeah. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll just have to see. We don't need stone, so let's get some gold from it. Can we do this? 15. I think it's 14, maybe. Yeah, that's that's a nice amount of gold per turn for something that we are not going to take uh, or not going to use oh we have an extra silk okay nice so that's gave us about a really gold per turn and that's uh, helpful in this position right now let's just see uh, let's hope that we can get a good position on this uh, stack he has cavalry now. How did they manage to get cavalry this turn? No, that's not cavalry. That's a knight. Oh, it's Saladin. Yeah, of course. And <laughs> look at that. We get our bonus. 50% versus cavalry units. So uh, that's really good. Let's compare 50% versus. <laughs> yeah, let's get an upgrade. So that's a good start. Just starting uh, 
get some damage in on uh, Saladin. I'm not sure if we will make peace with him just yet, or if we're going to make peace with him, but uh, yeah. Move our healer and heal. Do we push out? We have three, four Korshaks. Fire with this guy. Here we can get another one. Let's just do it. And you know what? Maybe we should make a market over here. Yeah. Let's prepare. It's the happiness or the. Yeah, let's just prepare for this game to drag on. So let's make a market here. We'll whip it next turn. <laughs> yeah, you, did you see that? All the mo units are like moving into position. But okay, we need to fix our value point. Oh yeah, this guy, he's going to... Uh, do we have uh, the Temple of Armedes? In York. Let's head over there. That will give us the gold we need. Let's gift away uh, that last worker. And let's see. So Zara, he's on Knights. Uh, steel. Let's just go for military attacks on our allies. And whip. Repopulation. Let's wait one more turn. And I don't know why they are insisting on working engineers and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking that was a two turn whip, but it wasn't. Or two population whip. Wait one more turn here. This guy, yeah. <laughs> Might not uh, ever see a uh, usage of the arrow cap pick, but. Let's kind let's sort of prepare for the long uh, war. And okay, let's fix our rally point. And okay, if we move on top of this tile, He might just position his stack some, somewhat that we can take it out. So let's do it. We need to kill his stack, I think. Next turn. Okay, so he attacked with a knight. That's uh, not <laughs> a good move against. And okay, our super medic is still. Doing a fine job. And okay, the red coats are moving in. Do we just check out what's over here? I think we do. And that's a lot of rifles. I wonder if we can break this actually. Yeah, a little bit tedious moving our units now, but. They bring so much uh, joy to the world, so it's nice. Let's 
Let's put some more troops in range. We're a little bit vulnerable for our attack from Suleiman. He is not partic He is not like really impressed about uh, our playstyle. <laughs> and who's to blame him? Super aggressive, super uh, like uh, uh, bring a uh, bring some gold here. That's nice. We have some pretty developed cottages here now, and they also count for when you're when you're running our slider low. So that this market will give us a nice gold per turn. Now we'll do the whip. And yeah, can we get some gold somehow? That would be really nice. Trade for nine more gold. Sure. Can we beg for some gold from some of our friends? Perfect. We need a little bit more though. I don't know if we can start producing gold in this city. I, th I think we are. Uh, I think we might be able to save, save or something. It's going to be a little while before we can take this city, I guess. But we'll see. Okay, here's more Saladin's units. He will talk. He won't talk too much though. And okay, is this a stack? looks like a part of his stack but that's takeable yeah here's his stack okay I think we're going to try to take out uh, his stack of Saladin make peace with him and who took that city? Arabia took that city. Well, that kind of makes his stack stay over here. So, uh, damn it. Yeah, I think we're going to take out his stack and make peace with Saladin. Eventually, it will make the cap capitulation of uh, yeah. Eventually, it will make the capitulation of uh, and we did actually get some value out of uh, our Koshak. That's nice. Yeah, eventually, it will make the capitulation of. Uh, uh Sarah a little bit easier okay and he won't talk anymore that's too bad let's see here now I think we want to leave one koshek Going to take out that rifleman. Yeah. We have one of these to represent. How about this guy? 63. That's nice. Waste, waste his troops over here. That's a lot of rifles. But if you take out this one guy, yeah, let's just go for uh, damage. Uh, 
and we need to find some gold this turn. Oh yeah, we are reinforcing. Might be able to make peace with Salad the next turn. So this city is bringing in uh, some serious, seriously nice well. And we are kind of stuck at our happy cap. Yeah, let's just get the wealth from some of our cities. Yeah, that forge. Well, well, well. Hmm. Nine more. <laughs> sure. And there we're breaking even. So this is uh, costing us mostly the emancipation actually. We can do like a turn into uh, a couple of turns into revolt. That will fix some of our happiness issues and give us a little bit more gold for the long run. So it's not too dumb doing this right now and did we pick up a great guy or something over here oh yeah that was the merchant speaking of where is it so we'll, we'll get more gold next turn so yeah let's just hold on a bit we have some pretty weak units out now let's smash Yeah, I might, might counterattack now. We lost some units. Okay, this should give us 900 gold. That's nothing. But, uh, for a temple of our, our medicines, that's uh, that's bad. Yeah, he took out some units, but he left him <laughs> self pretty open to attack. Let's see. Yeah, I think we have to make peace with Saladin. We are getting some gold from it as well, so sure. It will make the capitulation of uh, Sara easier. Do rifling need no rifling don't need any metal or anything. Hmm. Okay, so here's his uh, stack, bunch of knights and a lot of other stuff. Will he be able to defend? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six rifles versus this stack. might be okay but overall it's just good for us that he's uh, doing uh, doing that stuff instead of going for us but yeah um, probably just going to push for his capital this looks a little bit too hard to take it's a, is it on a hill no uh, Looks like it's just uh, on flatland, but still dangerous enough. 
We got some gold, so we can continue producing for a couple of turns. And yeah, we're also going to get that merchant gold, which will come in handy. Keep whipping this in. Let's try to trigger the bonus for the thing. Yeah, we are fixing our gold with that merchant, so uh, we aren't in as dire situation as I was thinking gold-wise. So let's just start producing our units again. And did take out a lot of his units. But I'm not sure how we're going to um, do this. But you heard the timer, so uh, I guess we're just going to make take a little break and uh, decide for our next how we're going to do this, continue this attack. Do we just group up our stack somewhere? Group up our stack and defend for a couple of turns. This guy will get a promotion. But it's on the hill, so we'll be left vulnerable. Maybe just put all of our units inside a stack and uh, heal. Where can our Medico, we can go over here. Yeah, make a little bit of a retreat to heal. And then keep pushing. We are getting our reinforcements as well, so um, let's pick up some nice amount of gold from that thing. Yeah, our reinforcements are arriving. And from the looks of it, Gondor looks not really takeable right now with that amount of uh, rifles. But yeah, we will maybe be able to uh, take out another city from him. Oh, we lost our gold. That's pretty important for us to actually retain. So we can actually run our culture culture slider a little bit lower, save even more gold. Let's whip here. And okay, yeah. So I was kind of hoping that I could take one AI every episode, but I guess Zara is going to take a little bit more convincing. But we have did some pretty good damage to him. Not not not. Uh, like regardless is he in a golden age? I think he is did he get a Muslim? yeah I'm sure I do think we can take out Zara but uh, that's going to be figured out in the next episode so thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit I guess. Let's just... yeah. And like, yeah. But I, I'm going to end this episode now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.